Hey, Jess Bricks here with another video. Uh, today's video is going to be a Pablo uh, picking a BrickLink order for Aaron. Uh, Aaron actually let me know that he uh, heard about my store through my YouTube channel, which is pretty awesome. Um, you see here, we can see some of the parts that are in his order. I'm going to uh, have to cut out a bit here to avoid showing the address. And here we see Aaron says, love the channel. These parts are to complete minifigures for my store. So thanks to Aaron for this. I'm going to go ahead and get started picking it. The first lot is one bone from drawer three. And I think that was the only new part in the order. Yep. Okay. And the rest is going to be an organizer's organizer B. We've got Obi One. <laughs> Help me, Obi One Kenobi. That's it. Of course. Hold up a second. Oh, there it is. I must have picked up one of the other parts and knocked it into a different compartment. There we go. We got a Iron Man helmet. Uh, OB9. We got Tony Stark head. Okay. I believe it's this one. Yeah, that's it. Something I can say is this laptop gets way too many notifications. Okay, organizer C for the next one. Still working out the kinks. Trying to get used to having a uh, laptop again. OC10. The last time I had a Windows computer I still lived with my parents and had dial-up internet, so it's it's been a little bit. Um, I had a MacBook while I was in college, but that was in 2009, and it no longer really works. I can no longer connect it to Wi-Fi or anything like that, and so it was time for a new computer. And then we got the police hat there. And last but not least, over in drawer 335, go ahead and put these organizers back. We've got this guy right there. Nice classic minifigure head. Go ahead and get that. Oh yeah. And just like it says on the listing, there's a line across the head on the seam. Yep. All right. So that's Aaron's order. I'll probably go ahead and pick a couple more while I'm up here because I have a little bit of time. So, um, Thanks, Aaron, for that. I'm going to make sure that you get a Bricky and a sticker. I don't know if I've showed it in a while, but this is my Bricky container. I'm going to make a red Bricky for Aaron. I've got my container full of eyes. And let's see, just reaching without looking. And, whoops, I think I just knocked some pieces out. Yep. Uh, I don't think dark red will go well with the, the red. Well, that looks like that'll be a good one. Flat silver. All right, for those of you who don't know, Bricky is kind of the mascot of my store. Uh, could say it's a sig fig, but really my sig fig is that guy back there. That's one version anyway. Um, but yeah, so Bricky's pretty much my, my mascot and I try to send one out with, uh, good number of quarters. You're also going to get one of these stickers, Aaron. Um, I just 
It's got some new stickers. They're really big. It prints the same size though, so it's uh, really just a lot of teal. I really think these are better stickers, so you're gonna get one of those with your order, Aaron. And thanks again. All right, slightly different order here. Lots of Technic parts, so 164, 164, and 167. So I'll just go ahead and come over here. 164, we got that part. How many of the other ones were right there? Six. Six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And 167. I'm not sure how many of those were, so I'll just grab the drawer real quick. Was all four of those black pieces. One, two, three, and four. So that's all the new parts, and everything else is probably going to be in green shoe box one. Nope, one is in bin three. So let's see. Green shoe box one because it's right here. My bins are all out of order because I was adding parts earlier today and yesterday and the day before and yeah. <laughs> I uh, recently added a lot of things to my inventory. I've added about 300 lots over the weekend. Where are you? It's a big beer. It's black. I always get confused with some of these things because the picture looks dark bluish gray. And do this gear right here. So I got that for a dollar and my dark bluish gray. Holy wheels. Much easier with both hands, but there we go. And now to bin number three for the last part. I'm not right clicking. But yeah, I've added a bunch of new uh, one by two bricks and a bunch of. Um, Doors and windows and frame pieces. It's a 1x15 black lift on. Should be fairly simple to find. Ah, there we go. That's two of them. There's that order there. Okay, going to get that packed up and move on to the last one. For that order, I reused one of my Lego parts bags. Um, might be a little bit harder to do that next year when they start switching to the uh, paper bags, but I don't know. I think I'll still be able to use them. Maybe. And the last order is the easiest order. Just one minifigure. Sirius Black. And... go serious black very easy order and those orders are all packed up as you see what I like to do with my padded envelopes is most of the time I don't have enough parts in there to fill up the whole thing and so I like to fold them in half and use the uh, adhesive edge there to close that up and it works very well, never had any issues with it. Um, if I feel like it's bulging too much, I'll put some tape on there, or if there's smaller parts that I feel like might possibly be able to work their way out, I'll tape up the edges, but I have not had an issue with that. And it just provides a little extra padding and makes it so I don't have to order multiple different sizes 
of um, envelopes. So let's get these labeled up and ready to go. Okay, so I'm on the PayPal multi-order shipping page. This is what I use for all my shipping stuff. Well, usually. Um, I'm going to try and do this without showing any addresses so I don't have to reload this. But um, this bar here, I can't really show it very well. Let's see. Let's me do presets. I do three or less because most of my orders are under three ounces. Uh, it actually changes. I found out after I made the preset that it actually, the, the band changes at four ounces and then anything above four ounces is a different price. And I'm not sure where it changes again on that, but I know that four ounces and less is all the same price. And then package thick envelope. And then I'll just come over here, calculate shipping cost. And that one's ready to go for $3.01. And then I can just come down and do that for all of these. Because all of them are under that three ounces. Total of nine dollars and thirteen cents for shipping. I've recently lowered my shipping rate to four dollars for the lowest shipping, just because that pretty much makes it so uh, it covers all my packing material and just any fees and such that I might be stuck paying with PayPal and all that. Okay, I'm not going to show the next part because I don't want to show the tracking numbers because those could be tracked. And print. Try not to show any addresses, but man, a label printer is great. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna do is go to schedule USPS schedule a pickup I'll put in my address okay so that's in there then no there's not a dog I'll leave them in slash at the mailbox pick up during regular delivery time put tomorrow on there three packages and then you'll have to put the estimate estimated weight agreed to the terms and conditions so one pound is the minimum weight you can put on there it's only going to be like four ounces but it's you got to put at least one pound for the estimated weight or it will just give you an error so all right that's it for this video um, I'm going to go ahead and Turn off my computer for tonight and thanks for watching um, till next time y'all have a good one